So the first type of content reuse we're going to look at is reusing content in publications. If you remember, a publication is like a table of contents. It contains all those different topics, the structure of what I want to put into my content. We're just going to see the very simple way I've got some existing topics that I want to reuse in my publications. Let's have a look. As you all know, this is the Polygo dashboard. And we have some example content here on the left that we did when we did the authoring sessions. If you've not seen them and you need some help, either the, you're looking at Polygo or you just want a good refresher on how to author in Polygo, please go and review that and advise it. But if we're good to go, I would also remind you, it's a really good idea here, that while I'm going through the different types of reuse, maybe stop the recording when I've shown you something and do it yourself. Improve what I call your Polygo muscle memory. So rather than just watch this as some sort of interesting recording, go and do it yourself. Get your hands dirty if you've got a version of Polygo. I think it's the best way to go forward. So if you remember, when we open a publication, so either by pressing the three dots and going edit open structure, or just clicking on the words, don't click on the icon, that moves things around. You see the icon changed. Click on the words, there's my publication. And these actually were all new content that we created all over here. I'll say I want to use other content. So let me just open the tutorial window, the one that you will actually get when you open a new Polygo instance. And say I just want to bring in these two different topics. So I can just drag them or just shift and click so I can select a couple of them, bring them over here and push them here. And as you can see, I've just added them to my publication. Very simple, very simple in, in instruction to do of reusing content in publications. And if I save, it's there until it's ever changed again. We have our new reuse. Very, very simple way to do it. One of the ways, so, and if you remember, we explained last time, a fork, a fork is a reuse of an actual topic. So publishing now is actually probably being reused in more than one, more than one publication. It'll have multiple forks. And if you just, we should just go clever for a second. And if I go, and I find, for example, publishing, and I go to edit open structure for that topic, you'll actually see that it's being reused in our SaaS application, the one that we just moved it to just now. So you can actually see where everything is being reused, and this is actually being reused in multiple publications. Excellent. So we've just reused a topic inside a publication, simple to do, effective, and probably something you'll do quite frequently. But there's other ways as well that we can reuse topics. We can actually reuse them as like a subsection in a regular topic, or we can put them in the topic structure view. Let's go and have a look, and see what I'm talking about. So first of all, let's go and reuse content inside an existing section. Let's go to about our product. Remember, we just click on it and it opens in the editor. So as you might have seen last time, we can actually build sections inside of a larger topic. In other words, maybe, you know, heading levels that are different. We just do it slightly different in Polygo. What I would do is you'd go to here, which is right at the end under the main section, click Alt Enter or the equivalent, and I'll put in another section. And this could be A word from the owners, for example. And this, as we know, is a title inside that section of the original section. So if this, for example, let's say was a heading one when you published to HTML, this would by default be the level under, in other words, a heading two. And then we put some content committed to. We're committed to excellence, as I'm sure everybody on this recording is. But maybe there's another topic that I want to reuse instead of writing this new section. So what I would do is I'd go down to here, go down to the end. If you get into, if you go into import or insert another topic, you need to be at the end of the, the section. You could always move it afterwards. If I go insert component, and let's just bring in, for example, payroll. I've now got a second level 
topic here. It'll behave the same as this one. Let's have a look. We'll do a preview on HTML5. And you see here, here we have our main title. Here's a second level, and here's a second level. As well as you can see on the right-hand side, I've got it set up from the layout editor, which we'll look at in another video, where we can actually move between the two. So even though one is an actual section, and one is an inserted topic, they both behave in the same way as far as your end users or your customers are concerned. Let me ch show you something snazzy maybe that's worth knowing. So if I take a word from the owners, currently, is that reusable, yes or no? So hopefully I can hear you, hear you shouting back to me, no, it's not reusable, Steve, because it's just a section inside of a topic. It's not reusable. I'd like to make it reusable. So what can I do? So I can actually click on the section menu and convert to reusable component. And I can, I'll keep the title as it is. It'll be the name on the left-hand side in the content manager, which folder, I'll leave it here. And if I want to reuse it or essentially throw it out, I want to keep it in here. So if I click OK, watch the magic that happens here. A word from the owners now appears. And it's as if I did insert component into Polygo like we did for payroll, it now exists. And I do a save. Now, the con now this content is secure. And if I were to do a preview, it would look exactly like this again in the same way. So we've seen how we can take a topic and put it into another topic and also make a section into a reusable topic. If you want to move these around, if I should go to the XML tree view and I could just click on this and move it above. And there you see, I changed the orders around as well. The XML tree view that I think we saw last time you can use this for moving different things, just showing you how to move those inserted components in a very, very quick way. There's also another way, actually two other ways, but we'll talk about one just now, in order to reuse content inside a topic. So we just went insert component in the authoring environment and put our order of content in. There's a different way. I could actually go to a topic like this one, a word for our owners, let's say one of those we created, and I can go edit open structure. And I could actually drag other topics into here and, ev and even create a hierarchy if I wanted. It would look exactly, well, let's make it simple actually. That would make it look exactly like this topic underneath here. It's exactly the same output. The customer will see as if there's one topic containing these three sections, logging in, introduction, and video about us. It's an alternative way in order to get to the same output for your, for your end users, for your customers. Why would you do it this way is a good question to ask. Well, maybe you've got lots of topics inside here, different or lots of sections. And we actually don't, by default, allow you to put more than 10 inserted components instead of topics inside a topic and it's best not to go against that because it's also bad customer experience for users. But should there be an end case where you need to do such a thing, then this could be a good way to go around it because you can put different topics in here and that's, and that's, per that's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. Maybe you want to branch or reuse in different ways. We're not the flexibility of moving between different things. This gives you a bit more flexibility. The downside of doing it this way is if you did a preview over here, you wouldn't see these topics when you're, when you do a preview. When you do a full publish, they obviously appear, but you wouldn't see them in a preview. So we just put a structure of reused topics into a word from the owners. So how can I reuse that somewhere? So if I just go into our applic, to our publication here, if I just drag this over, it's just dragging the topic. It is not dragging the structure that we made. If I want to keep the structure, I need to shift and click on the icon and then drag it over and you'll see that it says structure reuse. So to actually reuse the full structure for that topic, not just the content inside that topic, you need to hold shift when bringing over the topic. Otherwise, it will just bring the content of the actual topic rather than the full structure.